a warrior woman born in modern-day Vietnam who managed through a time to assist the Wu dynasty. Although her actual given name is unknown, she has gone by many different ones, such as in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms games, she is called Xiao Shizhen. Her uprising is usually depicted in history as an important chapter which advocates for national independence. The beautiful Sea's Lady King was once quoted saying, I'd like to ride storms, kill orcas in the open sea, drive out the aggressors, reconquer the country, undo the ties of serfdom, and never bend my back to be the concubine of whatever man. The traditional image of her as a remarkable yet human leader, throwing her yard-long breasts over her shoulders when going into battle astride an elephant, has been handed down from generation to generation. After Shi Zi died in 226, Sun Quan sent 3,000 troops to eradicate the Shi family and reassert control over Xiao Zhi. Lady Triu was born in the same year on the 8th of November 226, in what would soon become Xiao Zhu Commandery. Some years after her birth, the Wu forces captured and beheaded Shi Hui, along with all of his family, storming Zhu Zhen, they killed around 10,000 people. Lady Triu's parents were no longer with her when she was a child, so she grew up living with her older brother and his wife. Triu had a beauty that could shake any man's soul, but her in-law was a cruel, jealous woman. Triu was also strong, brave and smart, so after repeated altercations, she killed her sister-in-law then went to the mountains. Sun Quan went ahead of his plan to split Xiaoxi commandery into two, Xiaozhou and Guangzhou. He then sent a general to exterminate and pacify the barbaric Yue tribes, who were known for their body tattoos, fine swords and naval prowess. Lady Triu had remained unmarried in the mountains and forests, but gathered a band of a thousand followers. Legend tells of a nine-foot woman with three-foot-long breasts who had a voice which sounded like a temple bell. She could eat many rice packs and could walk 500 leagues in a day. When she went into battle, she usually wore a yellow tunic, but her assembled troops dressed in either coarse tunics covered thinly with gold and wore toothed footwear, or they had toothed footwear which was made out of coarse cloth. Her brother tried to talk her out of rebelling, but she told him, I only want to ride the wind and walk the waves, slay the big whales of the eastern sea, clean up frontiers and save the people from drowning. Why should I imitate others, bow my head, stoop over and be a slave? Why resign myself to menial housework? After hearing his sister's words, he decided to join in her fight. The Wu regime was harsh, turmoil plagued the southern commanderies as people rose up in revolt but always ended up pacified. In 248, a central Vietnamese kingdom known as Lam Ap invaded from the south and seized most of Renan. They marched on to Zhuizhen, which provoked a major uprising there, which then spread to Xiaoji. Lady Triu tied her breasts behind her back, then rode her elephant to Zhuizhen to meet up with her brother's rebels, but he made her the new leader because of her bravery. 100,000 chieftains, followed by 50,000 families, attacked then seized control of the cities from the Wu administrators. At first, the Wu troops underestimated Lady Triu for her being a female leader, but after some encounters they started to fear her gaze. The rebellions triggered a wave of unrest throughout Xiao province, so Sun Quan appointed a relative of Lu Xun, Lu Yin, as his new inspector, with an order to deal with the growing problem. After assuming office, he managed to placate the locals through acts of kindness and goodwill, eventually gaining their trust and respect. He distributed large sums of money to the locals to convince them of his sincerity, so a local chieftain from Gaolin Commandery initially led over 3,000 households to surrender, then Lu Yin continued southward to pacify more revolts. Won over by Lu Yin's generosity, more than a hundred local chieftains eventually laid down their arms, then led over 50,000 households out of the hills to surrender. Meanwhile, Lady Triu managed to resist the Wu forces for about five or six months, but ended up isolated, so eventually ran out of troops. Even though it's claimed she fought while sitting upon an elephant's head, she could not manage a long war, lost the battle, then decided to take her own life. From start to finish, Liu Yin's military troops totaled 8,000, then they stayed a while to help plant crops and keep the people fed. Later praised as a brave and loyal person, she had a temple built in her honour. Here she has been titled as the most noble, heroic and virgin lady. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.